This is the last example from three. This is power regression. So if you look at what we got in this scenario, um, this is uh, if you read it, it's some data on diabetes, and it shows this plot here, and then this um, table give you the adult uh, U.S. population with diabetes, uh, and then how it's projected to grow. All right. So this is 2010, and then this is all the way to 2050. Okay, and they want a power model that fits this data. So we're going to get out our calculator again, come into the stat editor, all right, and then in here we're going to put in all this data. All right, and notice that uh, here's the data, and notice that now I have uh, adjusted this because it tells us again that the x is equal to the years after 2000. So 2010 is 10 years after. 2015 is 15 years after, all right. So this is 2050, 2045. Okay, so you got to make that adjustment anytime. Always look for this. To see if it tells you um, uh, when to adjust this. Okay, a lot of times it will. Most of the time it will actually. All right, so let's find that power model. So once we've got the data in there, we do just like we did with uh, linear regression and quadratic regression. We hit stat. We come over to calc and then we go down this is the quadratic regression from before but we want uh, the power model so we come all the way down here to power regression option A hit enter it thinks for a little while and then here's our function okay now just with most of, most of these you just round it to two three decimal places okay so I'm gonna put uh, this on the next screen Oops, um, this should be four point. If I'm going to do it to three places, this should be <coughs> four point nine four seven x. All right, to the this is a decimal point, so decimal uh, four nine five. That's the power. All right. Now the second part, that's part A. The second part wants us to use the model. Use the model to predict the percent of US adults with diabetes in 2015. Okay, we know what the data says, right? It says 18.9, but we want to use the model to predict it. So I go to my calculator. Alright, I've got these numbers in there now I can um, you know round it and do 4.947 and then we want to do uh, in 2015 that's what this problem says again so this is where the 15 is coming from so 15 again X is years after 2000 so we're going to put 15 into the model so if I put in 15 and I raise that to the point 495 power I get that answer so 18.90 okay this is what exactly what this says all right so that's what part B would say so 18.90 and then our units are percent Now I want to show you another way to do that real quick. Um, if again, if when I did part A, when I did the uh, regression, if I would have uh, told it to store that thing in vars, y vars, function y1, like we've been doing, if I would have told it to store it in there, I could either graph it, you know, with the stat plot. Turn plot one on, and then you know zoom nine. And there's our power function that goes through there. Or, um, and then when I hit trace, remember like we did before, when we hit trace the first time, it's on the plots, okay. But if we 
press down, now we're on the model. Right, and now we can press uh, trace 15, oops, sorry, trace down to the model, press 15, hit enter, and then there's the 18 point, this time it's 0.93 because it's rounded much further. Notice that we rounded it at 4.947, but this goes all the way out to this decimal place right here. So this is a much more accurate um, prediction. I mean, not it's not accurate in the fact that we were actually, with three decimal places, we hit it exactly. Um, this is actually a little less accurate according to the, the real data, but I mean, I guess I should say a more precise prediction. It has um, more decimal places in the model, so it's given us some more uh, more precision with our predictions. Not accuracy, but precision. Okay, uh, that's uh, a way that you could use the model uh, and not have to type it in by hand that way. Another way is from the home screen, once you've done your power regression and use that vars, y vars, all that to get uh, to get it stored in your y1 to get the regression model. Uh, you can actually press vars y bars again select function and now from the home screen I can press parentheses 15 and this is like function notation this is like saying evaluate the function uh, when the input is 15 and it, and it gives you that so either way we get something pretty close to 18.9 in this case 18.93 versus 18.90 when we round it 18.90 um, written from before when we did it by hand using the, the actual model we wrote down in part A but you know I would obviously also uh, allow you to use the one that's less accurate but more precise oops that should be 93 if we're rounded to two decimal places let me erase that So 18.93%. Right, and then the third part says, and what year does the model predict the percent to be 29.6? So when does this thing get to 29.6? Um, you know, there's a couple ways we can do it. I'll show you both ways, but I would uh, be expecting you to use your calculator here. So we've got this in there. I'm going to turn the plot off if you go to y equals see it's got the plot on and it's got your uh, graph of your model on we only need the model so I'm gonna go up here and turn the plot off by highlighting it hitting enter All right, and now only the graph is on and then I'm gonna go down to y2 just like we did last time and I'm gonna tell it 29.6 for y2 and now just like before we'll find the intersection of these two Alright, so here's my model. Notice all the points are gone. The stat plot's turned off. But there's my model. Here comes the 29.6. So we're looking for this number down here, the part of the intersection. So calculate the intersection, option 5. First curve, that's our model. The second curve, it's not necessarily a curve to it, but um, the y equals 29.6. And then our guess, just anywhere close. So it goes through its calculations, 36.99, or 30, around 37 uh, years, uh, we get to that 29.6. So in what year? So 37 years after 2000, so basically uh, 2037 is our answer to Part C. Now, again, I want to show you another way to do it, but that's all you would need to do. Uh, and again, that was 2037. Now, if you wanted to do this one by hand, you can do this problem by hand. Um, basically, what this problem boils down to is, um, oops. taking our model 
uh, the four point the answer to this part four point nine four seven x to the point four nine five power and setting that equal to the twenty nine point six and now just solving for x All right, so we want to isolate this x here I want to get it by itself. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is divide away this 4.94. So I divide both sides by 4.94. All right, they cancel over here. Oops, 4.94, 7. Don't forget the 7. So they cancel completely over here, and I'm left with just the x to the 0.495 power. All right, and this equals twenty nine point six divided by four point nine four seven. So five point nine eight three four. If you're going to round your answers to three decimal places, you should have the intermediate steps uh, rounded to like five or six. So I'm going to say five point nine eight three. Four two. So my answer here is five point nine eight three four two. All right, check one more time to make sure you got it in there right. Okay. Now, this part, just like before, this is a power function. So I, remember in our notes when we solve power functions, we raise both sides to the reciprocal power. So what I do to solve this is I take x to the point 495 power and I raise both sides to the reciprocal of that which is 1 over 4.95. So that means I raise 5.98342 to the 1 over 0.495 power. Over here everything cancels and I just get x. All right, and then over here on the right side, you're going to go to your calculator. So we got 5.98342 raised to the, and then um, you can either do 1 divided by 0 0.495 and hit enter and get that, or you could also do 5. Point Nine eight three four two raised to the and this time instead of um, one over four point nine five you can do uh, point four nine five and then hit the negative one button All right, and both of them will give you the same thing. <coughs> All right, but thirty seven point one two roughly. Right, what year would that have put it in? That would have put it in 2037. Okay, so again, we're getting something a little bit different than we got here when we found uh, the intersection. Remember, here we got uh, 36.99. Here we got 37.12. But again, it's just because of the rounding. The calculator didn't round things to three places. It rounded them to like 12 or something. So um, that's why we're getting a little bit of a discrepancy there. But you can solve these by hand. It is doable by hand. Alright, so that is the end of 3.4. If you have any questions with this over the weekend, just send me an email.